Hi Aries, welcome back to the channel Aries the Emperor here. I am back with another general reading for all of my Aries collective. If you guys are new here, welcome. This is an all Aries channel for all of my Aries placements. Cross watchers, you are welcome as well to everyone. Just take in mind the reading may or may not resonate, which is okay. This just may not be your reading. Um, thank you to everyone who likes and subscribes to the channel. I'm grateful as always for your comments, your shares, your emails, your donations. To those of you who shop from my wish list, um, book personal readings. I am working to get both candle orders and your personal readings out as well. Okay, if you'd like to connect with me, all of my information is in the description box down below. So I want to gear up to do a sale. I think I'm going to start with readings first because um, this is like an anniversary to when I, I started um, making my candles, okay, um, and introducing them. So I really feel like I want to do something special. So like I said, I'm going to do candles as well, but we're going to start with personal readings just so that um, we can, I can allow things to go just a little smoother, okay? So um, I may put the, start the sale at midnight. So just stay tuned, all right? Be looking out. I just want to say thank you to each and every last one of you guys who support your girl, okay? Let's jump into it. Let's see what messages come out for you guys in the spread, okay? So planetary alignments. Um, we are sun and cancer. We're getting close to Leo season. Um, but sun and cancer at this time, moon in Virgo, Mercury is in Leo at this time, um, and Venus is in cancer at this time as well. So some of your guys' love lives, um, or what you're attracted to or, or who's attracted, um, to you may be coming in the forefront. Like there's going to be a lot of that. There may even be some, some of you guys, ex um, expecting children, getting pregnant, um, so if you're not trying to, to, to become a parent at this time, then just make sure you are taking the precautionary measures, okay, to prevent that. But let's see what's been said about you, Aries, every single word. This is the best time to do this. This is the most emotional season of the year here. So let's see what comes out. <laughs> Don't mind me, y'all. I'm a goofball. All right, Spirit, messages for the Aries Collective, Holy Spirit, angels. My table's a little shaky today. Ooh, the lovers. First card out, Gemini energy. I mean, I can't make it up. Ten of coins, which is the Ten of Pentacles, a.k.a. Um, Virgo energy. Mm. what's being said about you Aries I don't care what it is some of you guys can be batshit crazy and a motherfucker still love you somewhere out there you still have somebody that just looks at you like you are just the little sweetest little kitten or puppy you know and I'm not calling y'all no no cat or no dog and like that I'm just using that you know um as as something that people um connect cuteness with you know um, and, and that's you, like there's something very adorable about you. I feel like that someone feels for you, or this still may be energies that feel this for you and remember this about you. Um, they miss the connection. Um, they miss the, the nights where it was just you and them, you know, just doing simple things, talking till the sun comes up type energy, watching movies, you know, eating in, um, just creating things and 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 it's like you feeling you filled somebody up at one point in time here and they still run off that energy um, and they still feel that shit lovers is it's a major somebody got major feelings for you they went through some tough times with you they respect you they're growing respect for you you mean a lot Right. This is just um, in general here how you are are showing your work, yourself and your light how it is 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 being shown to others at this time because 
the lovers can be in a an, like an alignment type of energy that you have with someone or once had or somebody feels like they have with you or it's your alignment with the divine just take it how it resonates and someone can see that in you nine of cups cancer energy the hanged man pisces energy the eight of swords gemini energy okay quite a few cards that came out we're gonna take them all okay nine of cups uh, somebody may miss your home cooking somebody may miss feeding you or like i said i feel like you got this energy where you you fill people up um and it's something they don't forget you know and it's one thing for you to be like in a position and feel like you know it all and you have it all but it's another one to be um at rock bottom and not feeling like nobody cares about you nobody sees the good in you um nobody does anything good for you but you are that energy that comes in and i don't care who it is you know it, it can be um it could be anybody you know what i'm saying aries but if you see something or you feel a calling on your name, you know, to say something to them or try and help them out, um, then you're going to do that. And people know that, you know, so also you have to be careful with that type of energy and who you are filling up and what they're taking out of you. OK, because it's, 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 it's like that with you. You know, you you seem like somebody who can handle it all. Um, but I feel like people fail to realize that, you know, um, you're human just like everybody else, even though a lot of you guys probably can take on a lot. You probably can take care of a lot of people or you do have a lot of responsibility when it comes to, you know, helping your family and just being um, that stand up individual, you know, in the family that go to. Um, but it's, 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 it's given also that you just make sure that you are taking care of your energy and, and you refilling yourself up in some way, shape or form because um, you, it's, it's like, a somebody's favorite meal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They will come back again and again for some more, you and some more, you until it ain't nothing left. You know, somebody I feel like could be possessive or greedy over you. Um, somebody still lusts after you. You are still somebody's man. Somebody is still crushing on you. Somebody's still dreaming about you. Some of you could be recovering like from an injury or um, just you were maybe sick or because um, I have the devil here, Capricorn energy with the eight of swords, which is kind of giving like somebody that's sick and shut in. This may be you or this may be somebody connected to you. Oh, ooh, we got the devil, baby. The devil loves what the devil wears Prada. Is that the movie? I don't know where that came from, but... <laughs> Um, this could also, like I mentioned here, unhealthy attachments, like toxic people, um, you are the lovers and that is something that is angelic and the, the devil comes out right underneath that. And that's something that's demonic. So you could be the type of person where it's like opposite to track with you. You know what I mean? You're the good girl and then you attract the bad guy or vice versa, flip the roles, you know, um, but I, I feel like you, you attract everybody, um, but everybody from different walks of life could, could have something to say about you. Um, and, and <laughs> possibly, I don't know what this is scenarios coming to my mind is, it's, it's just like whoever has anything obsessive and negative to say is because they time got cut short with you. Um, they didn't get to do as much as they normally would set out to do. You maybe trip somebody up in their own web of lies or their own web of games um, and manipulation. Um, it's, it's, it's just like somebody feeling like they can have their way with you, have their cake and eat it too. Um, but when it came to you, it just, it didn't pan out in that way. Um, so now, you know, that's where you kind of have, I feel like when people, they love you so much, they start to hate you, you know, because they didn't get, um, and, and that energy comes from somebody not seeing something within themselves that they see in you. I also feel like, um, that could be a reason why people speak on you as well. 
and there's something devilish and, and angelic about you as well you know it's, it's sexy i say that all the time it's innocent but it's sexy at the same time and that would be with that lovers like you know lady in the streets like freaking the sheets like type thing um i think it's like one of the uh <laughs> sayings that they use um and and you could have that energy somebody could admire you for that um, or somebody could be just um, imagining how you are, you know, behind the scenes. I don't know why this is turning so sexual, but uh, this is what is coming out. And this energy has been coming out lately. <laughs> I feel like like in the last few readings, so I'm just going to go with it. Here we go. We got the chariot, cancer energy. Like I said, one call. Somebody is one call away for you, Aries. Or I feel like that's how... Um, whether you believe it or not, or whether you know it or not, I feel like people still feel like that. You probably feel like you have severed ties, burned that bridge. That person has moved on. They forgot your name. They forgot your number. They ain't forgot none of that. They still one call away and they still willing. I don't care who they with, who they around, who they committed to. And that sounds so bad, but if somebody will still drop everything just to come and try and, and to your rescue, you know, your chariot awaits you madam uh, um, or sir you know what i'm saying or your knight in shining armor or, or it's like some energy like that okay the justice libra energy and the king of swords gemini libra aquarius energy yeah you're somebody you're you're tough man you tough to beat you tough to outdo you're tough to use like somebody really got to put their A game or you make people bring their A game when they're dealing with you here or they see something naturally about you, the way that you move um, and, and they admire it and, and they study it. They want to learn from it. And like I said, this could be somebody that feels like they've done a lot. They know a lot. They've um, accomplished a lot, but you never know everything. I feel like you've changed people's lives as well. You know, people may have come into contact with you and um, they were living a certain lifestyle or, you know, they um, were just a certain way that maybe wasn't up to just somebody that you would normally surround yourself with. And after you got done with them, you know, they're, they're making a, a conscious effort to do better in their lives, to treat people better, to make their relationships with people more positive. Um, and, and just to, in general, you know, how they see you out here with the six of coins and look what that says, charity, not calling anybody a charity case or anything like that. But, um, you know, this is just like I, I said earlier here, you see somebody out down and out. If you can help Aries, then you are somebody that will, and you will give, you know, sometimes y'all give y'all last, um, and people know that. And, and that may seem like a weakness to others, um, but for you, you know, you see life different in, in, a, in a whole different set of eyes. Um, and I feel like people, they want to sometimes wish they could step in your shoes and, and um, witness that as well here. Somebody wants to swim in your ocean, Aries, deep in your ocean, um, if they still had an opportunity to. Like, it's just like an energy somebody would like to be lost on an island with you here. And it's just like nothing but moon, the moon and the stars you know that type of energy it's like you're doing something or you've done something for somebody that like they've never experienced with anybody else here or um, i feel like this is what's being said and felt about you people have to be strategic when it comes to you or it's like you're starting to live your life in that type of way here two of cups yeah, cancer energy. Like, you're just not going for anything. You're available, Aries, just not to everybody. And people feel that shit. <laughs> They're getting it. They get the memo, love. Seven of Cups. Some people I feel may be confused by you. Um, or confused why you no longer want to be connected to them. Three of Swords, yep. Three of Swords.
Somebody's feeling it. It's like a dagger to somebody's heart is how they feel. I don't know. This could be like someone, they, they, they messed up. They missed their shot. You moved on. You lucked up and they lucked out. You're somebody's missing piece to their puzzle, Aries. The sun. Very necessary piece to the puzzle that we live in. Because <laughs> that sun energy. You like that morning coffee, you know, that, that sip. And you get that jolt for, from it and you're ready to start your day here. Six of cups. Let's go. Let's get it. rock star energy Aries <laughs> I feel like is how people may may see you or, or may see like your energy that you have um and it's something that can put you on a high or like I mentioned in the last reading you know a roller coaster you you high at first and then it just drops you and that's what that three of swords energy is and the king of swords also it's like a, a professional level of detachment okay um and logic knight of cups Scorpio energy. Somebody may try and wine and dine you here. Somebody's going to do something special for you. Or somebody wants to ask you out. Somebody's out of their element, though. I will say that. And I mean that as far as to, like I said, you know, Aries are very interesting, you know, so it takes a, a very special inquiring type of mind to really be able to connect with a soul like you and, and understand you um, and your world and what makes you tick. Um, and you definitely have, I feel like somebody or somebody's um, who are intrigued, you know, you, you are the type of project that they would like to tackle. Um, and like I said, go through challenges um, five of coins, seven of wands, which the five of coins is the five of pentacles. Yeah. Like I said, five, and, and that's like the lack of something missing something. So, um, huh, you very well are. Somebody feels like they missing something and it's you in their life, but you had to protect yourself somewhere along the, the, the way here, somewhere along the lines for your own health and sanity. Queen of Cups. Cancer Energy. Thank you for the confirmation. Some of you guys are going to be popping bubbly. There's a lot of champagne, a lot of good eating here. Somebody, I don't know, like. It's giving. It's giving. It's just somebody sees themselves or saw themselves every, in every part of life that you could experience. And you are in this picture. There's so much white here as well as I'm noticing. Like these are, this is an ocean of emotions, you know, that somebody feels for you, has felt for you. Um, and this could be different people. You know, it doesn't just have to be one, but just take it how it resonates. Um, but you're something that to be celebrated or somebody separate celebrates you in private six of swords yeah very sentimental the world Saturn energy Ooh. Knight of Swords Gemini energy
And Saturn is in retrograde in Pisces at this time. Uh-oh. Knight of Coins and the Star. I mean, did I not say the world? Like somebody thinks the world of you. Like someone thinks about the last time they saw you. Not knowing it was going to be the last time they saw you. Or speak to you. It just over and over. It's like you're a wish fulfillment. The star is a wish fulfillment. The nine of cups is a wish fulfillment. The sun. Clarify the knight of cups spirit. I mean the knight of coins. The Three of Wands, Sagittarius Energy. And what did I say about a project earlier? And look, if you can read, it says project on the card. I don't know. This is like spin the block energy. I've, it's been coming up here lately. You still looking good. You still pushing forward. You're still just as vibrant and bubbly, sophisticated educated you're mature you're fun queen of coins aka queen of pentacles you know you could just be a great mother a great father a great person nine of wands through it all you know you're handling it a lot better than someone or some ones somebody's um whatever imagine you too with the Ten of Coins, a.k.a. the Ten of Pentacles. And there it is, uh, another table full of food. Whatever y'all got going on, invite me over. <laughs> the Empress, the Strength. The Five of, Co five of Cups. Can't even talk today. It's what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. Oh, wow, y'all. We done about almost went through this deck. You are far from weak. But you somehow draw out others' weaknesses. Purposely or not. And it's, you will be respected. You know, with your energy, it's like, try it if you want to. <laughs> you know, the out, whatever the outcome is, is on you. You're not letting people come in and stress you out anymore. Or at least you shouldn't. Some of y'all could be in getting in y'all soft girl era. Or men, you know, you could be exploring more on your feminine side as well because it's very important for us all to have some level of duality because the empress is soft but still very strong and sturdy and the strength card of course is that of leo energy and it's masculine but either way you are admired for that And at the same time, missed and hated on. But hey, it should come with the territory. 
it is what it is. But I'm going to leave this reading here. Hit that like and subscribe button for more messages from me, you guys. I'll catch you later. I got work to do. All right. Ciao.